What's up guys, it's your boy Glenn back with another video. So Apple just announced the new iPhone SE, a phone confirmed to be powered by the flagship A13 Bionic chip for just $399. Stay tuned for more details. Earlier today, Apple announced the second generation iPhone SE. This will be a very powerful device which features a 4.7 inch LCD Retina HD display with a home button and touch ID. Although a screen that size is considered to be small by 2020 standards, for the SE line, it's actually big. There are many people who have small hands or who just prefer a device with a smaller screen. If you are one of them, you may not be happy as the second generation iPhone SE only comes in one size. The reason Apple did this is simply a matter of numbers. 4.7 inch iPhones have been the most successful for Apple in terms of sales, having sold upwards of 500 million units. According to Apple, the iPhone SE features the best single camera system ever in an iPhone. The 12 megapixel f1.8 aperture wide lens features optical image stabilization, a flicker sensor for white balance, focus pixels, HDR, and portrait mode. It will also record 4K videos at 60 frames per second. Unfortunately, because it only has one camera, it uses machine learning to detect depth and faces, which means portrait mode will only work on people. So this means no cute portrait mode shots for our pets. It also has a 7 megapixel front facing camera which Apple claims has stereo audio recording as well as cinematic video stabilization. The new iPhone SE has pretty much the same footprint as the iPhone 8 which means if you plan on getting one, your old cases will fit. It supports 18 watt fast charging but will only come with a 5 watt charger out of the box. The amount of RAM and battery capacity are still unknown, as Apple have not made that information public yet. iPhone SE will come in three colors, black, white, and product red. Pre-orders will begin this Friday, April 17th, starting at $399 US for the 64GB version. The new iPhone SE is very appealing, especially with a flagship processor and a low price tag. It is a direct competitor to Google's Pixel 3a, which also retails for the same price. It will be very interesting to see sales figures for this device, as the world continues to grapple with a global pandemic. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech-related content. Here's a video on the new 2020 iPad Pro. Enjoy! As always, thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Peace.